How are we doing everybody? Today uh, we're going to be making a uh, spider brace type rig, uh, shoulder mount to uh, hold your camera. First thing you need is to cut um, a bunch of different pieces of tubing. You can see the numbers on there of the lengths and number you'll need of each. And also we're going to need to get some PVC angle, a T, a bunch of 45s and uh, 190. So uh, we're going to start out with uh, the six inch pieces uh, we cut. We cut two of them for the handles, a two and a half inch, which is going to be the left side, and uh, a couple of our one and a half inch nipples we're going to use um, throughout the projects. You cut uh, six of those at the beginning, along with uh, four 45s and obviously the one T. Again, this is three quarter inch uh, fittings. So we're going to start with the T. And in the right hand side, we're going to put one of the inch and a half nipples. And in the left hand side, the little bit longer nipple, the two and a half inch that we cut, because it's going to sit on our right shoulder and our left hand is going to need to reach it. And uh, we're going to take one of the 45s and get my son waving in the camera there. One of the 45s on one side, one of the 45s on the other side. And once we've got that done, we'll just adjust them a little bit to where we like it. And then we're going to attach uh, two nipples to each of those 45s. Now we're dry fitting everything. Uh, again, you don't want to put any PVC cement on it yet. Just dry fit it and see where you want it. And then you can go back through and uh, mark it and set it. I'm going to put another 45 on. And the other 45 on the other side. And I had to tell my son to stop looking at the camera so you guys can concentrate on how to build this thing. Once those are done, we're going to... Stick our two six inch pieces in, which are gonna act as the handles once we're done with the rig. And uh, that's what it looks like. Again, the left side's a bit longer. Now we're gonna uh, build the stem of the uh, brace. Now we're gonna take our 90 degree and stick it on one end. And uh, we're gonna take our 45 and stick it on the other end. And you should have a, a few nipples left, so grab another one of those inch and a half nipples, place that inside the 45, and then grab another 45 and place that on the nipple. And then we have uh, one more piece that's a three and a half inch piece, uh, which we're going to place in that 45, and we're going to kind of adjust it a little bit to get the right angle because that's going that that part we just did right there is going to hook around the back of our shoulder or our trap to hook on and keep us steady and if you have an end cap you can throw the end cap on as well and that's kind of what it should look like when you're looking uh looking down and again you can you can adjust the the back the hook the way you like it the way that's comfortable for you all right guys so once i had to uh drill a hole in this uh conduit box and the gray is conduit and the, the beige piping is actually a plumbing piping but I drilled a quarter inch hole and I have a, a quarter inch two inch long uh, bolt that I uh, you can see can go up through really nice and smoothly um, so before I put that in I'm going to want to attach the next two nipples the inch and a half nipples to this conduit now I had to grind a little bit with my Dremel tool inside that um, gray conduit box because the uh, PVC plumbing um, pipe doesn't fit as well. I mean it goes in but it's a little too uh, tight for my liking so I just sanded down the inside with my Dremel. Again I'm taking PVC cement and applying it to the inside of the conduit box and to the outside of the PVC nipple and I'm just going to drive that thing in there and that PVC cement sets within seconds. Um, we're just going to do the uh, the other end. Don't forget you're going to want to drill that uh, quarter inch hole all the way through that box, right in the center of that box. You can just take a measuring tape and measure it to do that. So uh, we've got our nipple set and everything's looking pretty good. Next we're going to uh, unscrew the side of the box so we can get at the inside because I want to um, put that bolt up through it's a uh, it's a uh, like a flathead bolt and I got a set screw and a couple other little collets with little uh, set screws in them and you'll see how I'm able to use these so there's that bolt 
and there's the uh, little collet that has another set screw on that and uh, I'm going to stick that up through and I put the, the collet on and the, then the set set uh, the lock tight nut there lock nut and um, you can see how that functions you're going to want to just uh, get it where you like it and again get the right bolt for your camera but that's how it's going to work and you can see I can tighten that down and keep it all together so once that's done I'm going to dry fit the handles one more time uh, make sure I got them where I like them and the only thing attached um, for good right now is those two nipples to that gray conduit box everything else is just dry fit I'm going to dry fit the uh, the spine of the, the uh, brace make sure you get that nice little angle and you can always put it on your shoulder and check to make sure you got the right angles and you can adjust all the all the joints and get them right where you want them. remember don't attach anything for good until you've really gotten all the adjustments so once you get all the adjustments everything feels good take a sharpie and uh, you're going to mark uh, each joint um, so that when you put it back together uh, you know where uh, they line up so I'm going to show you right here how I kind of do it I, I like to draw just two lines um, to make sure that uh, it goes right back in place once I apply all the PVC cement so make sure you go through and you mark uh, each joint and once you've marked each joint you can go back through take your PVC cement and uh, attach everything together make sure you do it both on the stem and on the handles alright so those are all done all attached um, the handles and the back stem and now I'm going to attach the handles uh, the T of the handle uh, to our conduit box the gray box so again apply uh, some PVC cement to the inside and to the nipple and uh, line it up and uh, send it home squeeze it in there and it, again it dries really quickly I'm going to dry fit this, the uh, spine of the piece one more time just to get it where I want it I'm going to get it where I want it and then uh, take the sharpie and uh, make sure it's exactly where I want it this, this part is very important so uh, everything is attached right now except for where the spine attaches uh, to our center box and that center box is where obviously our camera is going to sit on top of so I've got it where I want it and I'm going to draw a line apply my PVC cement to both the nipple and the inside of that uh, 90 degree angle and line it up and once you've got it lined up just hold it for one second and it'll set and that's kind of what you're looking at now everything's dries really quick and I'm just going to check it uh, looks like I'm liking everything feeling pretty good so you want to make sure you these tags that are on here you can either soak them in hot water before you start the project or you can uh, peel them off but you're going to want to get the tags off and then you want to just give the the whole thing a light sanding so you can spray paint it and there it is with the uh, spray paint set I don't need to spray paint the handles because um, I stopped by Walmart and grabbed a couple of bike handles in the kids section it was like five bucks I think and a piece of split foam from the hardware store which came in like a six foot length but it was like a buck or two I had to put tape on the, my uh, my bolt there uh, it was nice stainless steel and I didn't want to get paint on it so I, I wrapped some electrical tape on it so it didn't get paint next step is just to take some regular soap and uh, rub the soap around the handles on uh, both handles uh, give it a generous amount those uh, handles they go on really hard so you want to really lubricate the inside of the handles and those uh, the handle ends and uh, once that's done with the soap you can just kinda push them on and uh, kinda rotate them push them up until you get it where you want it and uh, there's kinda your, your final piece just wipe off the excess soap and make sure uh, you allow it to dry a little bit so we got our split foam and I'm just gonna do a quick little measurement uh, I want it to set uh, just on the pipe and not on any of the joints so measured it up and cut it 
And again, it comes with a split knit. You just need to finish the finish, finish separating it. So once it's separated, you can uh, set it right on. And uh, it's looking good. Cut the smaller piece and uh, set that on and you've got your finished spider brace. You can go back through and attach uh, some ties or um, some bands around that foam to keep it in place. You could put some Velcro on the inside, you could glue it down. But uh, this is kind of our final piece right there and I've, I've got another spider brace in my hands right now that I've built that's uh, exactly like this one and you can see it's got good smooth motion and there it is from the other angle so you set your camera on the box and screw it away so I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to build your own spider brace style support for your camera thank you very much